everyone, and welcome to Live at Four on this Tuesday. What are we doing inside today? Uh, it's so beautiful oh, outside. And boy, the, <laughs> these we're on borrowed time yes. with this weather. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> we'll get to the forecast in just a, a bit. But first, topping our news today, interim Badger head football coach Jim Leonard has his first official press conference today. What did he have to say about the move to put him in charge? Jordan Reed will join us with that. Two special sessions, but no results. Governor Evers holds two special sessions trying to revise Wisconsin's abortion law, but it didn't last more than one minute. So what was the end goal? And Loretta Lynn, a legendary singer, songwriter, and country, country music, dies at the age of 90. We'll tell you all about her 57-year career. As we mentioned, beautiful day out today. Look at this guy. Oh, where are they doing this? Elver Park. Oh, great. Really? They're doing this at Elver Park? That's cool. Very cool. And enjoy while you can because cold air returns. Julian is in the backyard enjoying the sunshine. That's right. I wish I was like him, though, because that looks like a lot of fun. But as we get into the rest of our evening, folks, it's going to feel great for the next few hours until we get into tonight. It's not going to be as cold as it was last night, but still, another chilly night is in tap for us. We're looking for temperatures to be in the 60s over the next couple of hours. Then we'll fall into the 50s by the time we get into our early nighttime. But overnight, we're going to see our temperatures fall to about the mid-40s for us, and it's going to be seasonably cool for around this time of year. But as we transition into what we're seeing for tonight throughout much of Dane County, areas just to the northwest, we can see by cross plains, we are looking for those upper 40s for us. So a bit of a little bit milder for our friends just to the west of Madison. But planning out tonight for us here in southern Wisconsin, we can see areas just to the far west holding on to the lower 50s, but many of us will be seeing those cooler conditions as we transition into our nighttime. Now take a look at how we're going to stack up for tomorrow, where we're looking for pretty close to a repeat, except for we could see a shower to the west coming in late, which we'll get into in just a moment. But one other thing we're going to watch for, folks, is the cold air returning. It's going to be seeing a significant drop by the time we get into our Friday. But take a look at our traffic as of right now along the Beltline, pretty smooth across the west and eastbound as of right now. And for the interstate, we are looking really smooth as well. We'll talk about what else to what we're going to be expecting from showers and potentially the cold air returning in just a few moments. Until then, back to you guys. All right, Julian, thank you. Jim Leonard is balancing two opposing forces this week, not wanting to dismiss the work Paul Chris did over the years while looking ahead at his first game as head coach. Leonard was honest with reporters about that balancing act during his first solo press conference this morning. Jordan Reed shares what we learned about how Leonard is handling a difficult week. Jordan? Yeah, Leonard says he actually loves where his team is at this week. He said that the Badgers had a great workout and practice the last two days since the news of Chris firing broke. Leonard is taking over for his mentor at a tough time. The Badgers are two and three, winless in the Big Ten, and have to go to Northwestern this weekend. It's a place they haven't won since 2016. He said the last 48 hours have been listening more than talking, allowing players to vent. Initially, felt like there's very little I can say to this team to handle that emotion in the moment. You know, it, it hurt a lot of guys and um, had a lot of conversations with the team individually as units, um, and then and, and reaching out, starting to reach out to individual guys as well, just because um, everyone's going to handle it a little bit differently. Prompt. This week has obviously been different for Leonard, too. He said he's not sure long-term if he'll continue to call defensive plays as he did at the start of the season. Now tonight at 5, we're going to hear Leonard's expectations for his veteran captains heading into Saturday's game. We'll see you then, Jordan. Thank you. Taigu, a Middleton Chinese restaurant, will be moving into the building currently occupied by Kanaki's Old Fashioned Butcher Shop. The owner of the 84-year-old three-generation Kanaki's announced last month that he was retiring and selling the building. Kanaki's last day will be a week from Saturday on October 15th. Steve Kanaki turned 69 this month. It was a time to start a new chapter and enjoy some free time. That news is bringing longtime customers back to the store, stocking up on kan Kanaki's legendary ground beef and prime steaks, some traveling hundreds of miles. Yeah, well, we, I told you, we got customers that have been coming in here for, you know, 40, 50 years. I mean, I can't tell you how many in the last week have said, we've been coming in here for 50 years. You know, I said, I know, because I know them. You know, I, you know, I grew up with them. I've been here for, you know, full time for, you know, since 1970. A combination of finding workers, a month-long road construction out front on Old Middleton Road, and Steve's age all lined and, all, and officially 
what's on the market, the offers for the building began pouring in. The new owners plan an extensive remodel and will open a second Taigu restaurant after that. Boy, that is the end of an era. And we'll have more sure. at, 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 at 5 o'clock. Okay. 32 seconds inside. That's all the time Republicans spent combined on the governor's special session today. Compare that to 45 minutes outside the Capitol where Democrats and abortion rights supporters rallied despite a lack of lawmaker action. Political reporter Will Keneally has been at the Capitol all day. Will, what can you tell us about today's session? That's right. So if you blinked, you might have missed it. The both chambers of the legislature did a quick gavel in, gavel out session today. And so if you see what's going on here, that is basically the bare minimum of what the legislature needed to do after the governor called the special session. So Evers wants you, the voter, to be able to put referenda on the ballot like they do in California. But the legislature needs to sign off on that first. Republicans called it a political stunt by Evers, and the governor today was frustrated that they didn't even debate the issue. Today we've seen the legislature once again taking a pass on this issue. They don't have the, the guts to get, get into session and actually talk about this issue. It's another slap in the face to the people that of to go Wisconsin. So why was Evers pushing for the ballot referenda in the first place? It would allow the people to bypass the state legislature and write their own laws. That means some Democratic priorities could make it through, like repealing the state's abortion ban, which would not make it through the current state legislature. But this is again coming among the backdrop of the current election going on right now, and Democrats want abortion to be a key issue for voters. We'll explore the political ramifications of all of this tonight at 5. All right, well, thank you. And speaking of midterms, there's a new twist in the pivotal Senate race in Georgia. The website The Daily Beast is reporting Republican candidate Herschel Walker paid for a woman he was dating to get an abortion in 2009. He strongly denies it. The former football star says he is staunchly anti-abortion. This comes as polls show Walker in a close race against his Democratic rival, Senator Raphael Warnock. Nicole Killian has more. Right now, I'm for life, and I'm no, not going to make an excuse for it. Georgia Republican Senate candidate Herschel Walker says he is pro-life and supports a nationwide abortion ban with no exceptions. I believe in life, as, and there's no excuses that about it. Rape incest. As, as I believe in life. I, you know, I don't think I want to go into where it includes, because who knows. But new reporting from the Daily Beast, which has not been independently confirmed by CBS News, claims he encouraged a woman he was dating in 2009 to get an abortion and help pay for it. The woman, whose identity was not published, provided the Daily Beast with a receipt for the procedure, a get well card, and an image of a $700 check allegedly signed by Walker. It is a flat out lie. Walker and, uh, denied the allegations on Fox News Monday night. But I can tell you right now, I never asked anyone to get an abortion. I never paid for an abortion. They think they can threaten me. They think they can scare me. Right now, all that done is has energized me more that I'm going to fight and win this seat for the great people of Georgia. The Trump-backed nominee and former football star is taking fire from his own family. Walker's son Christian posted this video on Twitter. The abortion card drops yesterday. It's literally his handwriting in the car. They say they have receipts, whatever. He gets on Twitter. He lies about it. Hersha Walker accused a reporter who wrote the piece of harassment and said he plans to sue the Daily Beast. Nicole Killian, CBS News, Washington. And Walker's opponent, Raphael Warnock, hasn't weighed in on this recent controversy yet. But in a sign of how competitive this race is, new fundraising numbers show he raised more than $26 million in the last three months. Walker's camp has yet to report its latest numbers. It was day two of jury selection today for the Darrell Brooks trial in Waukesha County Court. Brooks is representing himself in court. He is accused in the fatal Waukesha Christmas Parade tragedy for driving an SUV into a crowd, killing six people and injuring dozens. Brooks began interrupting today's proceedings before 9 a.m., and Judge Jennifer Doro called for a recess and removed Brooks from the courtroom. Today, Unity Point Health Meritor announced plans to open a new training facility to better equip the local workforce amid declining retention rates. The plan is for the new Jeff Levy, Levy Education Center to provide space for Meritor's 
critical nursing education program, educational programming, and practical training offered through Meritor that is uniquely designed to welcome talented individuals into clinical centers. Jeff Levy himself was there to talk about why he donated the amount of money he did. Every time I hear someone in healthcare describe the dedication that they have toward helping others and the resiliency they and their colleagues have shown in these past few years, I'm so amazed. But resiliency can have its limits. That's why I was inspired to support this important work. Levy continued to say that this gift seems small compared to the work of health care workers and how much they've helped Levy and his loved ones in addition to the community. The death toll continues to climb nearly a week after Hurricane Ian. CBS News has confirmed more than 100 people have died. In hard-hit Lee County, Florida, the sheriff says the storm claimed at least 55 lives. Nearly a week after the hurricane slammed into southwest Florida, rescue teams with dogs are still going door to door on Fort Myers Beach looking for victims. Many people chose to ride out the storm despite being told to leave. Once we leave, we can't get back. Um, I mean, we've lost everything. Despite the destruction, there have been many moments of hope as people help their neighbors. Over 400,000 people began the day without electricity in Florida. Officials say they're confident most of the power will be back on by Sunday. And Airbnb is offering free and discounted temporary housing for hurricane victims. The company announced in a news release Sunday it'll use $5 million to give shelter to people in Florida whose homes were lost or severely damaged and for first responders helping in the recovery process. The company is working with local nonprofits like Global Empowerment Mission, Core Response Operation, Blessing and Inspiritus to find places for people to stay. Well, still to come at four, we mark the passing of a country music legend. A look back at the life and times of Loretta Lynn when Live at Four continues. You're watching News 3 Now, Live at Four. Stop whitening your smile the old-fashioned way with strips and trays that can take 30 minutes to an hour. I'm Jonathan Greenhut, the CEO of Paraswabs. When I met Dr. Ginnaker and he introduced me to Paraswabs and I saw how effective they were and how easy they were to use, I knew we had to share it with the world. Paraswabs was clinically studied to whiten natural teeth as well as stained caps, crowns, and veneers. It's so effective, it works on stains caused by coffee, tea, red wine, and even smoking. For those of you who have that one stained tooth that's darker than the rest, Power Swabs can target that area using swab precision. I really love the fact that you're able to go individually on each tooth and make sure that it's going to be wider. If you have yellowing between your teeth, if you have coffee or tea stains near your gum line, just snap, swab, and smile. And in each five-minute application, you'll see whiter teeth. So stop whitening your smile the old-fashioned way with strips and trays that can take 30 minutes to an hour and start using the power swabs five minute solution just snap swab and smile after just seven days the results were awesome power swabs was easy to use every day and each day i could see it better and better and from beginning to end it's definitely wider uh, they look clean they feel clean um and people have made comments about it, which is nice. Call for your five-minute solution to whiter teeth. Order Power Swabs and receive up to 40% off the retail price. And as an added bonus, by ordering in response to this advertisement, get a free Power Swabs Quick Stick Pen with your order. The Quick Stick Pen is your on-the-go solution to help prevent stains from adhering to your teeth after drinking coffee, tea, or even after smoking. And in addition to saving up to 40% on your purchase and your free Quick Stick Pen, get free Free shipping by ordering now. Dial the number on your screen or visit powerswabs.com today. The radical left hate America and riot in our streets. They indoctrinate our children to hate America, stoking fear and envy with their lies and deceptions. Their radical woke agenda and divisive politics are tearing our country apart. Here's Mandela Barnes. Does the founding of this nation awful? Mandela Barnes is a radical leftist. He supports their woke agenda that's causing you and your family so much pain. 
I'm Ron Johnson, and I approve this message. Champion is offering buy two windows, get one free. Plus, double your available tax credit if you purchase before the end of the year. Lower your energy bills and stay comfortable in your home all year long. Call 888-4CHAMPION or go online to book your free estimate at getchampionwindows.com. Habitat Restore is full of great finds at great prices for a great cause. With a unique inventory of high-quality, low-cost goods, you can save money and feel good about your purchase. Shop Restore Dane County today. Welcome back, everyone. One year after it caused a statewide frenzy, Culver's is bringing it back. Frenzy is the right yes, word. It the is. Culver Burger, Curter the Curter Burger, Burger <laughs> that is, will be back on the restaurant's chain menu starting October 12th. And this year, customers will have more time yeah. to get a taste. Instead of a one day event, the Curter Burger will be available through the end of the month. The special burger was born from an April Fool's Day joke. People liked the idea so much that an online petition circulated with thousands of people asking that the fictional food become a reality. Yep, you got to taste I it with Craig Culver him, himself. The man himself. I never got one last time, so I'm looking forward to it this time. <laughs> we well, have more than one day. Is it worth waiting in line for a long time? It's a, it's a cheeseburger. <laughs> All right, okay. A new study says pregnant women shouldn't worry about taking numerous types of common antidepressants. According to a study published in the JAMA Internal Medicine Journal, use of these drugs is not linked to medical concerns like autism, behavioral issues, and mental disabilities. The findings are based on more than 145,000 women and their children over a 14 year span. Researchers say roughly 20% of mothers-to-be will face a mental health condition while carrying a baby. Australia is committing to zero extinctions with a new plan to protect 30% of its land. The country has one of the world's worst records on extinctions, but it hopes to prevent any more species from dying out in the country. With this new 10-year plan to protect its most threatened plants and animals, Australia's Minister for the Environment and Water said the Labor government had a very ambitious target. The plan brings Australia in line with more than 100 other countries pledging to protect 30% of their land and 30% of their ocean by 2030. Well, there are fewer places to pick up a paycheck in the U.S. Today, the Bureau of Labor Statistics reported there were 10.1 million job openings last month. That's down more than a million available positions compared to July and the lowest it's been since June of last year. The Federal Reserve likely is happy with a leaner labor market. Analysts say tight employment will likely increase wages and boost inflation. Stocks soared for the second straight day as as the October rally intensifies. The Dow Industrials gained 825 points, or nearly 3%, ending the day at 30,316. The NASDAQ was up 360 points, well over 3%, and the S&P 500 also up over 3%, adding 112 points. The queen of country music, Loretta Lynn, has died. Best known for her autobiographical hit song, Coal Miner's Daughter, Loretta Lynn died today at her Tennessee home at the age of 90. Stephanie Elam reports. Loretta Lynn's rags to riches story is well known. A coal miner's daughter who became the queen of country music. She was the second of Clara and Melvin Webb's eight children. Born in Butcher Hollow, part of the Appalachia Hill country in Kentucky. Her life during the Great Depression didn't offer many advantages. She grew up without electricity, indoor plumbing, and only completed the eighth grade. As a young teen, she married Oliver Vanetta Lynn, whom she called by the nickname Do or Doolittle. He was 21. A decade later, Loretta Lynn was a mother of four, playing guitar and writing songs at home. With her husband's encouragement, she entered a talent competition and was spotted by a record producer. Her first song, Honky Tonk Girl, was a minor hit, and the Lynn family moved to Nashville. Her marriage had its share of troubles, many of which spilled over into her songs. Lynn said her husband had problems with alcohol and her long absences on the road. They went on to have a total of six kids, but family life was not always harmonious. Touring took a toll on her health. She battled chronic illnesses and exhaustion. Her best-selling autobiography chronicled her hardships, heartaches, and rise to stardom. I 
can't sing in front of people. I just can't. Sissy Spacek won an Oscar playing her on the screen. Well, I was born to call miner's daughter. In 2004, Lynn would make a huge comeback recording the highly acclaimed album Van Leer Rose, produced by Jack White. She would be nominated for five Grammys for the album, winning two including Best Country Album. Lynn brought a strong female point of view to country music and was seen as a homespun advocate for ordinary women. Well, they say that I'm too country the way I look and sound. Her career spanned half a century, generating dozens of number one songs. From humble beginnings to country music royalty, Lynn never dreamed of being such a success. I don't think it, you can dream for success because I think it's more or less you have to work for it. Her hard work paid off with a lifetime of awards, including the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2013. And as for inspiring future performers, she said they needed to be one of three things. Great, different, or first. And I just happened to be different because I started writing my own songs and didn't really realize that the things that I was writing about, nobody wanted to talk about them. They were just doing them, you know? What a legend. You, you couldn't make up that story. I agree. Have you ever seen the movie? Oh, yeah. It's oh, it's terrific. Yeah. Lynn was inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame in 1988. She released her 46th solo studio album, Still Woman Enough, last year. At 89. It's incredible. Yeah, it is. Well, still to come at four, the band plays on in Minneapolis. The story of friends who together became brass solidarity. We'll have that story coming up after Julian's first worn forecast. fitness today and get more epic energy and better sleep with tons of equipment in our clean and spacious clubs. Join for $1 down, $10 a month, cancel anytime. Deal ends Friday, October 14th. With dad's arthritis, he needs extra help around the house, so I called a grace. Yes, a grace. With their agent home service, he can stay at home. home. That's where I want to spend these months. <laughs> with hospice care from a grace, I can stay home with my dog and my grandkids and their laughter. <laughs> I had no idea laughter could be a part of my life again after Joe died, but through a grace, I found hope and healing. A grace, caring every step of the way. Lean back and save at the Century House. Right now, buy stressless recliners, sofas, or office chairs and get up to $1,500 credit towards the purchase of more. Or save $400 on stressless signature-based recliners and ottomans and motorized classic power recliners. Don't wait. Take the opportunity to fill your home with stressless comfort for less. Shop the Century House, 3420 University Avenue in Madison. With the right tools and a little hard work, you can do it yourself. And with the right kind of paint, you can finish the job faster. Pittsburgh Paints and Stains exceeds your expectations with products that can cover your walls in one coat. So instead of another coat of paint, you can finally get outside. One coat paint means time better spent. Pittsburgh Paints and Stains, exclusively at Menards. Ron Johnson's at it again, lying about my taxes. Let's be clear, my taxes are paid in full, but there were times I was getting by on peanut butter sandwiches. And that's why I support a tax cut for the middle class, put more money in your pockets, because I know how hard you work. But Johnson used a Tennessee to write a loophole that gave huge tax cuts to himself and his biggest donors, leaving us with crumbs. And that's how we get left behind. I'm Mandela Barnes, and I approve this message. Pretty Woman, the musical, comes to Overture Hall October 18th. And to get you ready for the big show, News 3 Now and Needed Relief Day Spa and Wellness want to give you a makeover. Watch News 3 Now this morning, all this week for a chance to win. Enter at channel3000.com and you could win gift cards, tickets, and a grand prize just in time for the show. The Pretty Woman Makeover Contest, all this week, brought to you by Needed Relief Day Spa and Wellness and News 3 Now. Join Planet Fitness today and get more epic energy and better sleep with tons of equipment in our clean and spacious clubs. Join for $1 down, $10 a month, cancel anytime. Deal ends Friday, October 14th. 
Take a look at this. There are a lot of high-speed chases in L.A., but this is a good one. Some burglars were chased out of a home and sped away in a black BMW. When the deputies checked the plates on the vehicle, they found they belonged to another car. The high-speed chase went on and off freeways and barreled through surface streets. At some point, the BMW's right front tire went flat, eventually went down to the oh. rim. The car's rear bumper also ripped off, and eventually the driver lost control and slammed into the back of a big rig truck's trailer. Two people took off, but it were, of course, eventually taken into custody. Oh, wow. Th those things, it's so amazing nobody was hurt. Well, and I'm, I, I'm concerned about the other drivers on yeah. the road. That's what I mean. Yeah. 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 It's always wow. chaotic, huh, man? Yeah. Well, Taco about a great celebration. <laughs> it smells great in here. It is National Taco Day today. October 4th is the day to chow down on tacos. Now, as you probably know, we have Mexico to thank for them. So why the word taco? Well, that's not really clear, but one suggested origin is the word ataco, which means stuff or to stuff. Hmm. So that makes some sense. Are you a soft shell or a hard shell taco I like, guy? The, I like the hard shell. <laughs> Go ahead, Julian. Julian's like, will you stop oh, talking man. so I can eat the tacos? Yeah, it just looks so, it smells so good. It's I so like good. a lot of stuff on it. I like lettuce and tomatoes and black olives and mm. sour cream and cheese. I'm with you. Load it up. Load it up. Load it up. Yep. But do you like guac? I love guac. Yeah, I do too. I'm not going to try and eat a taco on the air. <laughs> Come on, live dangerously. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's right. How is it? Maybe it some tacos delicious. outside mm. this evening. Yeah. It's oh, so yeah, nice yes. outside. It's going to be a perfect night and evening to celebrate for some taco day. But it's going to be cold. We got to talk about that coming up with the first one forecast coming up after the break. Save fresh perks, it's easy to get lower than low prices for the win. You also earn fuel points on every purchase to save big at the pump. Pick and save fresh perks. All you do is win big, big savings. Pick and save fresh for everyone. The house before you, over 30 years old, still has its original window. Boom. No need to be afraid of old windows. Call Feldco for 50% off. It's the biggest sale of the season. 50% off Feldco windows, plus no money down and no interest until 2024. 50% off windows ends soon. Call now. For quality windows, siding, and doors, call 866 for Feldco. Mandela Barnes is spreading a lot more than just peanut butter. Barnes didn't pay thousands in property taxes on his Milwaukee condo, bought with family money. While not paying property taxes, Barnes bought a second condo, went to Vegas, even sat courtside for a Bucks game. Asked about his unpaid taxes, Barnes said, It's June 10th. Yeah, hey, it's June 10th. They want to talk about property taxes. Now Barnes wants to talk about peanut butter. Senate Leadership Fund is responsible for the content of this advertising. Hey, we're here at the local farmer's market where Informed Choice Insurance Agency is offering fresh, hand-picked local Medicare? What do you mean when you say shop local for Medicare? A lot of Medicare health plans have benefits that are specific to your county. So why would you call a national 1-800 number when your local Medicare plans have all the bells and whistles the national TV ads promise, only better? Don't be fooled by national TV hype. When it comes to your Medicare options, keep it local with Informed Choice Insurance Agency, and their services are free. This is County Ryan and Ryan Funeral Homes. While things have changed, it's still necessary for families to stay connected. And when it comes to the loss of a loved one, it's important to process and grieve and honor your loved one in a way that keeps everyone safe. We're doing this through intimate services and private virtual streaming so your family can be part of the service no matter where they are. Ryan Funeral Homes are here with your safety in mind and compassion and care in your time of need. With the Pick and Save app, no matter where you order free pickup, you get the same great deals as you'd get in our stores. So start your cart today. Whenever, wherever. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today.
But we're going to have a great evening on our hands as temperatures are still going to be within the upper 60s by the time we get into the next couple of hours for us. Throughout the rest of tonight's temperatures will fall, but still not going to be too chilly as we see those lower 50s by the time we get into the 10 o'clock hour. So planning out tonight, as we can see for Dane County, areas are going to be into the upper 40s and mid 40s for many of us. For Madison, around 46 degrees. Friends of Cross Plains, about 48. And for Sun Prairie and Wanakee, around 47. Now let's take a look at how we're seeing for the southern Wisconsin area. Our ADI is going to be looking at uh, for tomorrow. Temperatures are going to be very similar to what the, we had for today. A bit more cloud cover is on the way for us. We're going to talk about that in just a moment. But outside of that, folks, we are going to be seeing regardless temperatures near the 70 degree mark for us. But a couple of showers are going to be possible by the time we get into our Wednesday afternoon and night. So taking a look at what we're seeing for us. Some cloud cover is going to be varying throughout the course of the night. Temperatures will fall into the upper 40s. But then as we're heading out the door for tomorrow, we're still going to be in the upper 40s for us in Madison and for much of southern Wisconsin. Cloud cover is going to continue to blanket much of the area throughout the afternoon hours, but we could start to see a couple of pop-up showers mainly towards the western side from Crawford County could start to see a bit of some showers moving its way in from Prairie to Sheen, Platteville. And then by the time we get to the 5 p.m. commute, it's still rather dry for many of us here in southern Wisconsin, but we could start to see a bit of some showers rolling in from Iowa County just north of Mineral Point, starting to try to leak their way into the northwest of Dane County. We are looking for some breaks in that cloud cover once we get into our Wednesday night, but we are looking for temperatures to still be rather steady into the 50s as we are going into the overnight transitioning into our Thursday. Now Thursday is the day we're going to be looking at our best chance for seeing some changes. By the time we get into the lunchtime hour, a band of showers is going to move its way from central Wisconsin into southern Wisconsin. Around the two o'clock hour, we can start to see some showers developing just north of Madison and just outside of the Dells and starting to stretch its way across much of southern Wisconsin, being quite widespread by the time we get to the 3 p.m. commute hour. So once we're heading outside, of picking up from the kids from school, you may want to have your rain gear nearby as we are looking for some showers, potentially even some moderate to heavier rainfall for some areas just near Dane County and to the southwest. As we get into the 5 o'clock and 6 p.m. Uh, hours, we are going to still continue to see those showers. It won't really start to fall out until we get into our early nighttime, but we are looking for that cold front to finally move its way in, bringing in temperatures into the low 40s for many of us in southern Wisconsin as the sky cover starts to clear up in itself as well. Could start to see a bit of some, uh, about a quarter to a half of an inch of rainfall for many of us in southern Wisconsin, but not just Thursday, but Friday is the one day we are going to be watching for some of the colder temperatures to really start to roll in. So three things we're going to need to go know. We're going to see milder temperatures for tomorrow. Rain chances for Wednesday. Scattered showers going into our Thursday afternoon, into our evening and nights. But outside of that, we are still looking at temperatures to really be on a colder side by the time we get into our Friday and Saturday. And this is also a help, healthy reminder for you to please help us out in reaching our goal by donating coats, especially since now it is about to get quite frosty and quite cold by the time we get into our Friday nights and transitioning into our Thursday. So this is just, once again, a healthy reminder. Go to any Clinky Cleaners location around town and be able to donate any gently used coats that you have. And please, once again, help us over the next couple of days in reaching our goal. And not just thank kids. you, everybody, who's helped out so right. far. And yeah. not just kids, all adult coats, coats are needed as well. Yep, all coats for everybody here because it's, these winters are brutal. Everybody needs to be able to stay warm, so it's yeah. always helpful for everyone. And the winds of change are coming. <laughs> that big blue blob yeah. is heading our way. Yeah, like they say, winter's coming. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Not, Not yet. <laughs> Julie, thank you. Thanks, Julie. Orthodox Jews performed rituals to cleanse themselves from sin ahead of Yom Kippur, or the Day of Atonement, which begins tonight at sundown. In Jerusalem's ultra-Orthodox neighborhoods, people took part in a custom called kaparat by waving a live chicken over their head. The act is thought to purge the believer of their sins by symbolically passing them on to the animal. In Tel Aviv, some Orthodox Jews performed a ceremony where people empty their pockets into a running source of water, symbolically casting their sins out. It's a very ancient ceremony that uh, our uh, ancestors, ancestors did um, to throw our sins to the sea. In the old city of Jerusalem, thousands took part in prayers at the Western Wall, asking God to forgive them for past sins.
Well, it is the Sound of Solidarity, a group of local musicians taking their talent to George Floyd Square in Minneapolis. And as Caroline Cummings reports, the band's mission goes beyond the music. On any given Monday. Are we warm? At this corner of 38th Shall we? and Chicago. Uh, do we want to be, do we want to hang, we can hang out over here. You'll find a community. <laughs> Concert. Just bring your horn. <laughs> same time. <laughs> same place. When the band begins to play. Everybody! Same mission. There were so many people that saw George Floyd's murder and said, what do I do? I don't know what to do. A lot of us as musicians felt we can use our art and um, use our gifts to, to bring as an offering to this space and to the movement. A movement for racial justice Butchie Austin felt was worth playing his trumpet for. Soon he found others performing with the same purpose. I thought I would just start playing and then I did play for a minute and then I was approached by some other musicians in the square at the same time. That's sort of how we started playing together. Some starting as strangers. I didn't know any of those players. But eventually, friends. Stand by me. Who together Stand became Brass Solidarity. We want to be part of the call for justice, and we want to also contribute good feelings to the community. For 81 weeks, they haven't missed a Monday. You put smiles on people's faces and let you know they care, and it, and it fills your soul. So that's why I do it. A show they believe must go on. And the Love band then hasn't missed a Monday in more than a year. They also recently lent their talents to a nurse's strike playing music on the picket line. They sound great, too. They do. Well, coming up next on Live at 4, Consumer Reports helps us pick the best buys of October. And then coming up next hour at 5, women who have had mastectomies are now able to get areola tattoos at the hospital and have their insurance pay for it. Our Andrew Banster will tell us more coming up at 5. Your family's year-round comfort is our year-round commitment at RG Heating and Air Conditioning. We install quality train equipment and service all brands so your home's furnace and AC will perform their best year-round. RG Heating and AC. You've probably heard by now, but Wanakee Remodeling has been transforming homes for the better part of half a century by installing materials that stand the test of time from a team of trusted home pros. Our design team delivers a turnkey experience for your interior or exterior remodeling project, leaving you with a home you love. At Wanakee Remodeling, we'll never stop improving. Right now, get a special window offer. Buy one window, get one 40% off plus special financing. Visit WanakeeRemodeling.com for more. Tim Michaels' company has been sued numerous times for sexual assault and harassment in the workplace. But he says... People love working at Michaels. Women said they were groped, assaulted, and pressured to have sex with their bosses. We have a great work culture. Higher-ups called the women liars and fired those who spoke out. So when he says this... We have a great work culture. Know that the culture comes from the top. Fall in love with a stylish and quality dining room set this fall, like my Montana Dining Collection. Get the table with six chairs, only $9.99, or table, four chairs, and storage bench, still only $9.99. Like a little height? I won't hold it against you. My counter height sets are the same price, with financing options to fit your budget. With Bob's discount, style and value fall into place, so you can afford the farmhouse look you love. Family dinner is back on the menu. Just don't forget to save me a seat. I don't take up much room. Get Bob's discount! Get into the spirits with Madison Magazine. Scare up area ghosts and haunts. Visit the local suppliers of Hollywood's ghoulish props and learn the dark history of campus discrimination. Madison Magazine, online and on newsstands now. Want to know right now what the weather will be like tomorrow? Download the First Warn Weather app and you'll get my customized forecast for tonight and tomorrow. The First Warn Weather app. Get it now. Powered by News 3 Now.
At RG Heating and Air Conditioning, our promise to you is 100% satisfaction guaranteed. Guaranteed service, repairs, and replacements. Installing quality train equipment. RG Heating and AC. We'll always treat you like family. Guaranteed. New at 5, after decades at the center of the Madison community, Kanaki's Meat Market has closed. News 3 now looks at the shop's history and looks at what's to come. Expect one more mild day on Wednesday before a cold front moves through Wisconsin on Thursday, bringing some scattered showers. Friday will be even colder, and a widespread frost is likely Friday night. I'll tell you how cold it'll get at 5. Tonight at 6, we speak with a health care worker who's helping fellow breast cancer survivors get closure through opening an areola tattooing clinic at Edgerton Hospital. Given the old weather satellite a spin, we end up in Sacramento. This is the Golden One Center, home of the Sacramento Kings of the NBA team. 83 degrees. Very nice in California. Well, with fall in full gear, you might think now is the time to relax in your favorite flannel and sip some pumpkin spice. That sounds wonderful, <laughs> but hold on. Consumer Reports says you shouldn't miss out on some big sales this month as retailers get an earlier start than ever on the holiday shopping season. Our Chris Stanford tells us more. Fall has just made its way here, but it's not too early to start thinking about holiday shopping as retailers begin to roll out blockbuster sales events this month. Consumer Reports tracks prices of many of its top tested products all year long, so it knows exactly when they go on deep discount. Here are the top products to look out for in this month's best time to buy. With two multi-day site-wide sales this month, Target Deal Days, and Amazon's Prime Early Access Sale, you'll be able to find deals that come close to what we expect for Black Friday on giftable items like tech devices, kitchen appliances, fitness equipment, apparel, toys, and so much more. Consumer Reports says the long weekend around Indigenous Peoples Day, also called Columbus Day, is typically a good time to find deals on mattresses and large appliances. The Casper Original Mattress is a Consumer Reports Best Buy, and a queen size is now $1,165 at Amazon. Next, upgrade your kitchen with a brand new Smooth Top Range. This LG Electric Smooth Top Range is a Consumer Reports Best Buy. It is now $764 at LG and Home Depot. And now that Apple recently released its new iPhone, October's a great time to find lower prices on top-rated previous models. The Apple iPhone SE is a Consumer Reports Best Buy and is $429 at Amazon. Consumer Reports says this is the best iPhone under $500 it's tested. And finally, keep the climate under control in your home with a new thermostat. This Honeywell thermostat is a Consumer Reports Best Buy and is $155 at Amazon. Now that you've scored yourself some deals, you can dedicate some time. Go carve a pumpkin. For Consumer Reports, I'm Chris Stanford. And as the holiday shopping season rolls around, look out for retailers offering price matching. Target will start offer offering its holiday price match guarantee on October 6th. If an item you buy at Target goes on sale for less through December 24th, Target will adjust the price and refund you the difference. So save your receipts. That's good. Well, still to come at four, it's that time of year again. It's Fat Bear Week. Oh, we love that. One of our favorite weeks. And an update how the entire Madison area community has rallied around a family of Ukrainian refugees that we first introduced you to six months ago. We'll have an update on what's, what they're doing now when Live at Four continues. here at the Bruce Company. Hello, we, have our, Emmy. we have our beautiful backdrop. I know, isn't this cute? It's our little fall cabin. It's darling. You look darling too. Thank you, as do you. Now, let's talk about how you can beautify your space because long gone are the days of the I know, annual. it still feels like it's a little bit summer, but it is now officially fall. And if mm -hmm. your containers, say, are looking a little mingy, then you can pop in some fall plants, plants that do well at this time of year, like this guy right here. So we've got some kale, we've got some chrysanthemums, popped in a little gourd here for some extra color. So cute. It is really cute. I love fall, it's my favorite season. And if this is too much, just come and get your standard big, beautiful mums, because that also just yeah, sets the stage. They're like the size of a footstool. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Speaking of big, we got this big boy. Yeah, so we've got lots of different kinds of pumpkins here, some that are good for carving, like this one too many is what it's 
called. Some that you can't really carve, like gourds. But I love, this one's my favorite, because it's soft and really easy to carve, and the seeds are big. Okay, so for kids, this would be a great, great this choice. This is a great choice for kids. Now let's talk about your annual event coming up. It's a pretty big year for it. It is, this is our 10th annual Fall Fest, Family Fall Fest. It's a great event. It is Saturday, October 8th, from 10 until 2. We've got a petting zoo, so you, your kids can pet adorable animals, get their faces painted, paint some little mini pumpkins, the balloon twisting guy will be here. And this year, since it's new, it's, this is the 10th anniversary, we have a new thing, so we've got some food trucks that'll be here. So you can feed baby animals and feed your kids. Oh, all the same event. I love it. Come out to the Bruce Company this fall. I'm Emmy Fink, Lisa Briggs, and we're buzzed into Madison. Ta-da. Ta-da. Fry Construction wants to thank you for once again voting us Best of Madison three years running with 27% off gutters or insulation. Your neighbors already know how we strive to meet and exceed expectations with each and every project. That's why they voted us Best of Madison three years in a row. Experience the Best of Madison for yourself with Fry Construction. Save 27% off gutters or insulation with any full roof replacement project. Schedule your consultation today at fryconstruction.com. Energy is everywhere, even in a little seedling, which, when turned into fuel, can help power a plane. At Chevron's El Segundo Refinery, we're looking to turn plant-based oil into renewable gasoline, jet, and diesel fuels. Our planet offers countless sources of energy, but it's only human to find the ones that could power a better future. Well, a quick update on our traffic as of right now. Pretty smooth along the Beltline east and westbound and also for the interstate. Of course, some of the more important parts of our traffic. Still rather smooth around this time of day. I mean, that's going to do it for our updates. Let's send it back to you guys. Thanks, Julian. Fat Bear Week is back. The annual face-off is a bracket competition between the fattest brown bears from Katmai National Park in Alaska. Starting tomorrow, you can participate every day until the 8th by voting for your favorite bear in daily matchups. You can vote by visiting fatbearweek.org. And you can even read about this year's competitors like 480 Otis, who won last year's competition, and he once ate 42 salmon in one sitting. <laughs> <laughs> I love fat bear. Got a fat up? We should each pick one and see how we do. Well, the CDC is warning this could be a very rough winter for the flu. Doctors and U.S. health experts are attending a national conference aimed at encouraging all Americans to get a flu vaccine. They expect it could be a highly infectious year if the U.S. is anything like Australia that just finished up its flu season. They had the worst influenza season over the past five years. In a recent national survey, only 49% of adults say they plan to get the flu vaccine. Health officials are also concerned that the percentage of pregnant people and children getting the flu vaccine has continued to trend downward. And for the first time, health officials are recommending people 65 and older receive a high-dose flu vaccine or adjuvated flu vaccine. An adjuvant is added to the vaccine to create a stronger immune response. I got that last year. You did. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Well, it's been seven months since Russia invaded Ukraine, and it feels like a lifetime for a family of Ukrainian refugees starting over in Madison. You may recall we first met Snezana Baikova and her two children in March, right after they lost everything to flee to safety in the United States and into the home of their American friends, Anne and Jeff Munson of Fitchburg. A lot has happened in the last mm -hmm. six months since we last saw them, and today we have an update on how they're all doing. Zana, we are talking to you in a different place than the last time I met you. Where are we right now? We are at our new home in the United States. For a family from Ukraine, the place on Park Shore Court is their American dream. To tell you the truth, I started to feel myself happy. In March, Snezana Baikova and her kids fled their home with everything they owned in one suitcase. In the Munson's home, they found safety and support. We were not relatives, we just friends, but look how great we did. Five months of uh, living together, different mentality, different culture, but we made it. Six months later, the Baikovs are on their own. In July, they moved into this spacious middle 
Middleton duplex. What's it been like at your house now? Do you miss the, the chaos, the happy chaos? We went from nine to four, so our house is like a ghost town. It was busy, you know, we laughed, we cried, we, we got loud, we, we had fun. But amid all of the joy is the realization that the war is not over. This is half of a year. It's very difficult to accept. I still can't accept it, personally, in my mind, that I'm here, not home, for such a long time. The chaos they left behind has been replaced by compassion. Their new home was fully furnished and the rent paid by members of a Madison church. Everything you see, it was given by people to our family. And it's incredible. It's unbelievable because, you know what, I never met such kindness. And we have this pretty elaborate plan. Tony Swanby is the chair of the Immigration Action Team at Midvale Community Lutheran Church. And we decided to develop a sponsorship program for asylum seekers to be supported by the church for a two-year period. When they heard about the plight of refugees, the congregation saw an opportunity to turn the church's beliefs into action. This is master bedroom. And uh, I organized a little space for myself because I'm, I hope that soon I will be able to work. We had money for uh, an apartment. We had money for food, you know, clothing all that kind of stuff. This is Serena's room and uh, please do your presentation. <laughs> this is my bed where I hopefully get more stuffed animals. Arena is in a new school and adapting to a new culture. Do you still think about going back to Ukraine? That is a really hard question. I can't really answer it. When we last saw Daniel, he had just been accepted to UW-Madison, but the tuition was too much for this fall. That was my dream to study in the United States like, since my childhood. And when I saw the UW-Madison, it was uh, such a... Um, Ast astonishing. Daniel remains hopeful he will be a Badger and his family will be reunited. Snezana's husband is still in harm's way. How is Vitaly doing? He's trying to show that he's doing okay. He said, you know, guys, it's very difficult because all your stuff is in the house, but you are not here. This year of heartbreak turned into a season of healing. The church carved out a piece of their lawn to plant a Ukrainian vegetable garden. Certainly for Snezhana to give herself, you know, some grace um, and, and realize what she's been able to do for her family. Um, it's hard for mothers. And my family in Ukraine, uh, they are amazed how kind people are here. And thank you for your love, for your support, and for your very kind hearts. Mama. They're doing very well. And there's more exciting news. Ann and Jeff sponsored Snezana's mother-in-law, and they actually picked her up today so, at O'Hare Airport. They're probably on their way home, driving, driving her back to Madison. The more her, the merrier. Her father-in-law has to stay in Ukraine because martial law was extended there until November 21st, and that's why her husband is still there. But hopefully, they'll all be re yeah, reunited they, soon. Hopefully, they can go home someday. Yes, yes. All right. Thank you, Susan. We'll have a final check of your four cast coming up. Well, it's a beautiful shot. Look at that picture. It's our biggest sale of the year. And you can save big. On quality home furnishings throughout the showroom. Join us for our anniversary sale. And help us celebrate. Over 25 years at Wanake Furniture ETC. Mandela Barnes is spreading a lot more than just peanut butter. Barnes didn't pay thousands in property taxes on his Milwaukee condo, bought with family money. While not paying property taxes, Barnes bought a second condo, went to Vegas, even sat courtside for a Bucks game. Asked about his unpaid taxes, Barnes said, It's Juneteenth. Hey, it's Juneteenth. They want to talk about property taxes. Now Barnes wants to talk about peanut butter. Senate Leadership Fund is responsible for the content of this advertising. Champion is offering buy two windows, get one free. Plus, double your available tax credit if you purchase before the end of the year. Lower your energy bills and stay comfortable in your home all year long. Call 888-4-CHAMPION or go online to book your free estimate at getchampionwindows.com. 
The radical left hate America and riot in our streets. They indoctrinate our children to hate America, stoking fear and envy with their lies and deceptions. Their radical woke agenda and divisive politics are tearing our country apart. Here's Mandela Barnes. Because the founder of this nation, awful. Mandela Barnes is a radical leftist. He supports their woke agenda that's causing you and your family so much pain. I'm Ron Johnson, and I approve this message. It's our biggest sale of the year. And you can save big. On quality home furnishings throughout the showroom. Join us for our anniversary sale. And help us celebrate. Over 25 years at Wanakee Furniture ETC. Coming up at 5, another failed special session for Governor Tony Evers. News 3 now examines how the gaveled out meeting will impact his campaign. Then, longtime staple of the Madison community, Kanaki's meat market closes. We speak to the staff about its decision. As political ads bombard you with campaign promises and claims to capture your vote, News 3 Now gives you a reality check, clarifying the candidates' messages and finding the facts to help you make informed choices. Reality Check, Wednesdays on News 3 Now at 6. Well, folks, our rain chances return later this week with cold weather. Meteorologist Gary Canolsi will walk you through it coming up at 5. I worked on the force for 30 years. I've seen plenty of politicians, but Mandela, he's the real deal. Mandela doesn't want to defund the police. He's very supportive of law enforcement, and I know his objective is to make every community in the state of Wisconsin better. I trust him to get the resources that we need to keep people safe and to reduce crime in the first place. As a retired cop, I want someone like Mandela. Mandela is the right guy for the job. I'm Mandela Barnes, and I approve this message. Stop whitening your smile the old-fashioned way with strips and trays that can take 30 minutes to an hour. I'm Jonathan Greenhut, the CEO of PowerSwabs. When I met Dr. Ginnaker and he introduced me to PowerSwabs and I saw how effective they were and how easy they were to use, I knew we had to share it with the world. PowerSwabs was clinically studied to whiten natural teeth as well as stained caps, crowns, and veneers. It's so effective, it works on stains caused by coffee, tea, red wine, and and even smoking. For those of you who have that one stained tooth that's darker than the rest, Power Swabs can target that area using swab precision. I really love the fact that you're able to go individually on each tooth and make sure that it's gonna be wider. If you have yellowing between your teeth, if you have coffee or tea stains near your gum line, just snap, swab, and smile. And in each five minute application, you'll see whiter teeth. So stop whitening your smile the old fashioned way with strips and trays that can take 30 minutes to an hour and start using the power swabs five minute solution just snap swab and smile after just seven days the results were awesome power swabs was easy to use every day and each day i could see it better and better and from beginning to end it's definitely wider uh, and they look clean they feel clean um and people have made comments about it, which is nice. Call for your five-minute solution to whiter teeth. Order Power Swabs and receive up to 40% off the retail price. And as an added bonus, by ordering in response to this advertisement, get a free Power Swabs Quick Stick Pen with your order. The Quick Stick Pen is your on-the-go solution to help prevent stains from adhering to your teeth after drinking coffee, tea, or even after smoking. And in addition to saving up to 40% on your purchase and your free Quick Stick Pen, get free shipping by ordering now. Dial the number on your screen or visit powerswabs.com today. In today's final touch, it's one of the most coveted pink diamonds in the world. And now it can be yours. The 11 karat <laughs> Williamson diamond is being auctioned off in Hong Kong Friday. It's expected to fetch at least $21 million. It's